Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Today we're going to be talking about Glen G18 Extremely Rare. Extremely. And a drink date. Drink date, also known as a get to know you date. Uh, let's get together and talk things out date. Sure. Let's test it. Years ago, Bart was set up on a blind date. Well, there's a little bit more of that though. It was an attempted blind date that I was able to defend and deflect. I don't do, yeah, you don't know this. I don't do blind dates. They never work out good. Well, uh, you were new to town. Yeah. As when you first moved here. Mm -hmm. Go back to the mid nineties. Right. Um, so it's tried to set up, I block it. Then a little bit later at a social gathering, um, the person's there with the person that tried to set up the blind date. So I think it was her friend trying to really hook us up. And so this girl You'll comes- You'll have to, you're gonna have to tell me who that was that set you up, cause I don't know if you, or I, I've forgotten if you, not now. But yeah, I'll later. let you know later. We don't want to out anybody yeah. here. <laughs> but so, so now I'm in this social gathering, this person who knew I'd been trying to get set up with them on a blind date comes right up and says, hey, you know, our mutual friend tried to hook us up on a blind date, but she didn't want to do it. So right off, I'm like, man. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I don't do blind dates. And then she's like, hey, I'm so-and-so, and, and we should go out now that we've met. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm nice. Right there, I'm thinking coffee. <laughs> See, here's what I did. I, I said, all right, we'll go out and get a drink. And I mentioned oh, to him, yeah. yeah, I told you See. that, Later on, I told you about it, and I said, that's the lowest denominator no. date. Yeah. No. And no. I said, yeah, it is. It's There's not all, dinner or movie or nothing. There's all kinds of insinuations going to get a drink. See, I don't, I didn't think so. I thought it was yeah. the lowest possible thing. It was like, hey, let's get a drink. No, that's like two or three steps up. Mm. Lowest, lowest denominator is coffee. I'll get, how about three o'clock? What are you doing <laughs> Friday at three? We'll go get Starbucks, get a cup of coffee. We'll, we'll go Dutch. <laughs> yeah, meet me at Starbucks. See, you, and you don't even, did you pick her up? Yeah, I picked her you up. You picked her up, that was a date. That wasn't yeah. even a, a, a... Get to know you date. Wasn't even a get to know you date. Get to know you, meet me at Starbucks at three Friday. <laughs> I'll buy you a, hey, a mocha latte. Come over to the house and help me do yard work. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm trimming hedges. And you talk about just, stuff while you're working. Yeah, we get to know That's, each other well. We go out. It, it, there's a lot of insinuations when you go out for a drink. Uh, I did not think so. However, the date was horrible. It was bad, bad, bad. And somehow I was the only one that knew it was bad. And then he was blaming me saying I let her on. I'm like, no, I didn't. I did not. We just got a drink and and like some chips or something, some french fries. And then all of a sudden, she's wanting to bring me to her parents for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm yeah. like, what? <laughs> this, how do you go from the lowest possible denominator date, once again, he claimed I didn't, to come meet the parents for Thanksgiving? Yeah. No girl in my life met the parents for Thanksgiving or Christmas unless it was serious. That was like the hint. Yeah, that that's the like after. Knew. Yeah, and yeah. dated for a while. Yeah, Thanksgiving's first because you're going to be around the family for the day. Christmas mm -hmm. is like the huge one because my mom's going to get the girl a gift. She's going to buy her something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom is the same way. Yeah, you show up with somebody, huge. they're going to. Yeah, there's no light. Hey, we met last week and had. Even if you're like working and you're just bringing some guy you work with, my mom would buy him a present. Really? Like, Mom, I'm working, but oh, me and so Joe will swing by for dinner. Stop it. Okay, yeah. I thought you were bringing you some by. guy you worked with to home for Christmas in no. Peeburg. No. <laughs> me and Joe are coming by, Mom. Oh, no. No. So. But just, yeah, stopping by for lunch. My mom's right. going to have something for So, uh, if you have comments, please, in the comments section, if you know of something that's uh, a little bit lower on the denominator for um, a date, put it on there. Coffee. Yeah. yeah. He says coffee's the lowest. I'm joking about yard work. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't do that. All right, so Glenn Moran. Oh, before I go, I wanted to mention, and I'll go into a little bit more later. We've got uh, a new sponsor, Audible, and uh, I'll uh, put the tag in there. But if you basically go to Audible um, at Scotch Test Dummies, put in Scotch Test Dummies, um, it'll help us out. I think so, it's aud audibletrial.com backslash scotch test dummies and right. it's a free trial for audible books yeah free trial 30 days and you get one free credit that you can go get a book and the book's yours forever we'll talk a little bit more at the end of this but uh, so glenn morangi and i always say did i say the name right i, I used to well, say it wrong morangi morangi glenn, glenn morangi right i always say it like an american 
Um, this is also a gift. It was a Christmas gift from my brother-in-law. Uh, brother and brother-in-law. I thought it was your brother. Nope. Really? Uh, yeah. Your brother-in-law got you that? Yep. Job. Um, if any of my brother-in-laws are watching, <laughs> this guys, is what he got. You me. guys make me sick. Yes, Jennifer and Michael Job. Thank you. He said uh, he likes watching the show. He wanted to make sure I shouted out his name. He I really requested thought it. it was your brother. No, your brother no, no. My brother got me a card. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my brother-in-law. Yeah, he's good. He's very good. I was very impressed. When this showed up, it was heavy. And I thought, what is? what did they send? Mike, uh, Bob, <laughs> and David, you guys take note. Yeah. You see what Bart's brother-in-laws do? That's right. Steve, my other brother-in-law, if you're ever wondering what I want, hello. Anything in the Scotch realm would be great. By the way, you haven't commented on the hat. Um, I'm used to it. <laughs> when I found this, he was with me and he mockingly said, oh, get that hat. I'm like, doing it? And he was like, come on. I'm like, mm-mm. I'm into that. I, I found Bart is actually, you are more open to wearing goofy stuff than I am. And I, I, I figured it'd be the other way around. I'm six foot six. I've been goofy my whole life. Well, I've true. always been taller than everybody else. So I've gotten used to it. When I was a kid and you do the little photo in front of your class, mm -hmm. I always knew where I was standing. Where? Where am I standing? Mm -hmm. on oh, the back row. Back row center. Yep. And there's always Every some time. short kid yelling at you. Yeah. You know, they'll be like, line up by height, and like, Billy's got to say, back, or Jimmy. And the, Jimmy's yelling, back row center. Well, yeah. thanks. I wasn't yeah. sure. And then you got a couple short kids that try to get in the back row, too. No, kind of, but it's the like, short no. kids, I coveted the short kids because they're always set, like sitting next to the teacher with the sign that says, you know, Mrs. Johnson's third grade class, boom, and he's got like the full body shot, and you can see his shoes and everything. All you ever got was this part of me. Hey, <laughs> there's a head in the back row. And it's dangerous. If those risers collapse, I'm dropping five, six feet. All right. Um, this, I mean, as soon as we opened this and started pouring it, I could smell it. It's yeah. such a you know a what I put fragrant on this? Yeah. nose. Well, I get a citrus, but I actually list it as peach pie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the night that we sat down with this and I had a baked peach cobbler was what I put that I got off of it. Now, we must have been talking to each other. Sometimes when we do our notes, we don't even converse. We just write our own notes down. But yeah, I, I remember smelling a peach and it's peach. And then when he talked about baked, I said, yeah, I could see a, a I, I have peach pie, nice and sweet on the nose. And it is, it's light, crisp, mm -hmm. refreshing. Mm -hmm. Um. Also got a little bit um, of an apple cider vinegar type smell, a very faint smell of that, and a cinnamon and a clove wow. on the nose. Mm. It's 43%. Whew, boy, I get peach on the flavor. Mm -hmm. That is just, I mean, for me, it's peach. Um, I put in my notes, amazingly sweet peach. Just... Uh, um, just a little aftertaste. I get a dryness Ooh. on my cheeks. It is. It's back in there. I got it again. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I also get on the aftertaste. It trails off into a nice nutty aftertaste. Just gives me a little, like a little mm. hint of that nut. Yep. And I've got baked peach cobbler, but it's probably actually more of a, a raw peach. I have no idea right. what this means, but I put peach pit. <laughs> yeah. Like a well, peach pit, like sucking on the pit. Yeah. And I'm there, it's got a, this is the first time I've had that peach kind of flavor. Hmm. Um, on, the, on my taste, the little bit of the peach, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of oak, and a little bit of sherry on the finish. Hmm. Yeah, very surprising on this one. Usually I'm not so good picking out the fruits, but this one screams peach at me. Um, with the water, I didn't get too much of a change anywhere on the nose or with the taste. Yeah, I uh, I get a little bit more of a vanilla kind of flavor, but I actually prefer this neat. It seems like it softens out some of that peach explosion for me. It did, right there, yeah. And I don't get as much of that trailing nutty flavor. With, the, with even a touch of water. For some reason, if I'm drinking this, I'm drinking this neat. What's the ABV? 43. Okay. Hmm. 
So yeah, this one I'm telling you, I would this would be consumed neat. I've been leaning more and more neat, by the way. What about you? Uh, most of the time, I'm still going to add just a drop of water. Hmm. Okay. Even even with the forty percent, forty three percent, I'm still going to put just a drop in there. Well, usually. with the heavier ABVs, but, definitely. Uh -huh. With the peats, I still like a little bit of water. I don't know. It seems to open it up. But I've got to tell you, the ones the ones that I usually call like Bruno type scotches with the citruses and the vanillas and the butterscotches, I really mm. enjoy them neat. So, would you do a scotch date with someone? Um. If, if I met someone and they were a scotch drinker as well and there was something there to begin with. They have to be a scotch drinker? Wouldn't you already? Well, yeah. So the, well, you're talking you're you're three dates in. Well, Wouldn't no, you could meet someone, say, at work or introduce, and they're like, hey, you're a scotch drinker. She's a scotch drinker. Maybe, maybe you've met each other. Maybe there's a little spark there or something already. Mm. Boom, let's go get a drink. Okay. Yeah, I think a scotch date would be kind of cool because if she's, well, scotch isn't for it, everybody. Yeah, you don't know yeah, if she is or I'm not. Okay. Um, most are probably going to maybe a glass of wine or something, though. Hmm. All right. Don't forget to uh, to like us on Facebook. Um, we really engage a lot. He does a whole lot of engagement on Twitter. I'll come in and uh, chat up probably, what, a third as much. Um, malt mark. Sorry, I would have forgotten again. Wow. 90. I gave it an 87. Oh, yeah. it's much higher now. Yeah. There is... That peach and the smoothness of it not bad. puts it right over. 87's Nine, like a high upper for me. You know I like the Smokies, with, so maybe yeah. that's, you know. Yeah, yeah that's true. But it's not bad. i say the the 90 mark for me, when I taste something and there's that wow factor in there, mm -hmm. something that you haven't got before, something that's really good, something that just pushes it over the edge, that's going to be my 90 hmm. and above. Okay. And this has it. Oh, this is delicious. I mean, the like I said, the uniqueness of it. I think, like I said, an 87 is a very high score for me. It's not breaking the 90s. Usually the ones breaking the 90s are the ones that got a little bit of peat in them for me. So that's just me personally, but an 87 is a very respectable score. For the brother-in-law, I'm not hating on you. 87 is good. I know you're watching right now. <laughs> now, what's our, our price point, I think, on this is really pretty reasonable, yes. too. Yeah, I have no idea. Even in, in our parts, as I say, yeah. I think it comes in around $110, $120 for the 18 year which is oh wow, he's good. a good brother-in-law yeah. i didn't even know a price point on it i yeah. think somewhere in there a good man 100 keep, to 120 keep sending that brother yep bob mike and david take note <laughs> on a side note we're gonna end uh uh again audible trial do the deal i always forget the uh i've got to get that down it'll be in the notes look in the what? notes oh his minion i'm limeade baby no but what's the uh, lima <laughs> he wants Limeades. See, once again, he can't pronounce it. He goes it. with your hat. It's like you're <laughs> yeah, it on does. vacation in Cozumel. All right. When you go to Audible, free credit, I'm going to, I love Audible. Um, I found a free credit and started using it off of a podcast years ago. Um, I'm, I'm going to recommend um, Childhood's End is an Arthur C. Clarke book that uh, they had offered a deal. You're going to tell people what to read? Just real quick. I'm, no, I'm not telling them. I'm just throwing it out there. It was an awesome book in the 60s, still still relevant today with the sci-fi nature of it. He's He, like, reads nothing. All right? So, See, go, I'd say, check go out. look at books. Go look at books. Pick out an audible book. Yeah, but, you great. Got, yeah, but I mean, there's some very good books out there that I'm following a lot. You need to read Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> or listen. You need to listen to Fifty Shades of Grey. There, on get it. your very first do coffee it. date. Do it. With a blind date. Do it yeah, on your Fifty first Shades date. of Grey. Hey, yeah. no let's read this together. What do you let's mean? read I just, this. I just listened to a yeah, book with would, her. Would That's you like okay. to see? I haven't read it or seen it. Would you like to see my pain room or whatever it's called? Hey, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> By the way, bring the bottle of scotch. <laughs> All right, Scotch Test Dummies. See you guys later. Cilantro. Cilantro Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>